Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. Now, I've seen Ruby Coco become a pretty popular trend. And we'll see if it becomes prevalent in the long run. Um, I know there's not really been any major um, candy companies uh, in America that have done Ruby uh, flavored chocolates yet. But I expect it to happen sooner or later, um, for sure. Why are they probably not doing it just yet? I think they're trying to find a way to make it um, less costly to make, to, you know, get all that together. And, uh, you know, it's hard, I guess. And I, I, I don't know how, what the availability of all this stuff is, but it is what it is. And it's not a good time either for developing all of that with this pandemic. So anyways, um, Magnum has been, uh, had decided to release a Ruby, um, a Ruby ice cream bar, Ruby dipped ice cream bar. And then haagen also released one. So I've been holding one of these, uh, for at least a, a month. One, uh, it took forever to find the Magnum, and Hagen Dazs just came out of nowhere with theirs. Hagen Dazs also supposedly has a strawberry ice cream one, but it, it, this works out fine for what this video is going to be. It's going to be a. I'm going to rank, r not rank. Sorry, can't really rank two things. You can say which one you think is better, but you don't really rank them. So a. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to you know, rate them on my scale, gonna evaluate them, tell y'all what I think. And then B, I'm gonna tell y'all um, which one's better. And I might slip up when I'm eating the second one and be like, oh yeah, the other one's better. Or, oh yeah, this one's definitely better. But, you know, that's just, that's stuff that happens. So before I get into this review slash comparison video, I ask of you one simple thing. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like, comment, and share. And go ahead and check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food, and give that a follow as well. So, yeah, that's that's just one simple thing. And you can do all that in a couple seconds, even though it's not one thing. It's but it all can be done at once. So, anyways, um, I'm trying to think which one do I want to start with. I feel like I can't eat. Both of them in their entirety because I, it's just so much sugar. Um, I don't know what, which one I want to go with, honestly. I've never had anything Hagen dazs I've never had anything Magnum. So this is so you're really gonna get an unbiased presentation here of what I think for sure. It's it's really interesting um, looking at these things. I think I'm going to go with the the Magnum second because I guess I can eat that whole thing. And then I, I can just willingly stop myself on the haagen -Dazs. But the haagen -Dazs, I would expect it's double the size because it's double the calories. And if it's not, it just means it's more sugary. So, anyways. This is the haagen Yeah, this is the haagen -Dazs. We'll get. We'll take a look at it. So, there's that. Let me take a good look. Looks like the Ruby Cuckoo bar I had not long ago. But anyways, yeah. Let's let's try this bad boy out. Now you may be wondering if have I actually had Ruby Cocoa before? And yes. I went to the fresh market. I went on a run before COVID happened to a bunch of fresh markets. And one of them ended up having a Ruby Cocoa bar. I think it was fresh market. It was either fresh market, Whole Food, or um, Wegmans. But one of them had it. And I swear, it was pretty interesting, pretty good. And this is pretty consistent with that. You get this really fruity taste. And as it dies down, 
and you get more of a chocolatey um, kind of composure in your mouth. I really want to eat this whole thing. The ice cream's so smooth. I might end up eating it, but not right now. To me, that's really delectable. It's got really good taste, really good ruby cocoa flavor. I think the one issue I have, I think I get the bit of bitterness um, from it. But you get this, it's so weird because like you get this cocoa taste too. It's so like awkward, but it's so interesting. So what do I say to this? I'm going to give it a 9 because the bitterness is, isn't is strong, but it's there and it kind of bothers me. So. so Magnum, they do mini. I don't know if they do regular size stuff, but they do mini bars. And so this is what we got here and it's not cooperating and that's got me in a bad mood, folks. Open, open, open sesame. Come on, Mike. You could make a better wrapper than this. Okay. So here we go. You know, it's... It would... It, I would say it's definitely like, you know, half the size. It's smaller and stuff. I'm just looking and see... I'm, I'm wondering, could these be the same company? I wouldn't think so. Um... I really don't. I think they're two different companies. Hagen Doss. And I guess this is just Magnum. I, I ain't got any clue. Oh, uh, this is made by Unilever. Okay. So, how does Magnum do? Other than the fact that it's really small. Let's try it out. This one's definitely different. It tastes like it's got like a richer cocoa vibe to it. Um, it might just be the ice cream. Man, why is it falling off like that? Can't have that happening. No siree. I think the bitterness is a bit more proficient here. And I would say I think I like the Hagen dogs better. I think it hits the fruity notes a bit better. This one tastes more like a, a richer amount, stronger amount of cocoa and a stronger about amount of bitterness. And you get a little bit of fruit taste, but it doesn't quite satisfy me enough. And it might not even be the cocoa that's rich. I think it's the ice cream. So to me, I think I'm going to give that an 8. It's solid. It's good. Um, but I, I definitely think Hagen dazs is the better one here. It it plays to the um, the ruby cocoa better for sure. This one has an emphasis on better ice cream, um, for sure. 
So if you like want some really good ice cream, this one's the one. But if you really want it to hammer on the ruby cocoa, I think this one's the one you want to choose. Also, it's holding together better. And before you accuse me of anything, um, they came from the same exact freezer. The same exact freezer. Hmm. Now this one's losing its flavor. I don't know. But honestly, I have no complaints. Both are solid. It's good. This one holds together a little bit better, I would say. And plays to the flavor better of the, the cocoa. So yeah, um, that's my review. Um, I would say each has their own significant uh, detail. This one, hi the haagen -Dazs highlights the ruby cocoa the best in my opinion but the magnum has the better ice cream within their thing but it comes with a cost um the magnum falls apart easily so oh that one is super off. but anyway um that's all i got so i hope you enjoyed this video i'll have some more content tomorrow this is the last video i have for y'all today but, um, yeah, I had fun doing this review, even though it's a couple months late. But, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. And, uh, I'll see y'all around. Yeah!